Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick review of the Loophole Delta Point. Um, it's a great site, it's a great red dot site, so for those of you who, who can't really stand uh, fussing around with um, a site, the Delta Point is a, is a big time contender. Uh, unlike the Burris Fast Fire, the Delta Point doesn't have an on off switch. Um, there are literally no buttons, switches, or dials on the unit whatsoever. The only exposed hardware uh, is the adjustment screws for both elevation and windage. The Delta Point is motion activated and automatically adjusts the brightness of the 3.5 MOA dot for ambient conditions. My uh, gripe with this is that the windage and elevation adjustment screws use a tiny, tiny Torx bit. A Torx bit is included, um, so Allen head screws are, they just won't really work. Um, so I would suggest, um, so you don't lose it, picking up um, a miniature set of Torx screw, uh, Torx bits. Uh, so otherwise the adjustments, they're marginable. Uh, the included wrench does work well, but it's not a standard tool, like I said. Um, I happen to own a, a set of specialty miniature screwdriver and Torx uh, set, so this isn't really an issue for me. Uh, the screws do not require any torque, so there's really no reason to make them torques. They are set really far into the base, and if you get dirt or debris in the recess, it will take a blast from compressed air to clear, to clear it out. They also don't have any detents with a standard MOA adjustment, so this can be frustrating for some. Because they don't have any detents, they must have locks to prevent them from moving. However, the locks are located on the rear of the base and set at an upward angle. So if I were to set this optic in a milled pistol slide, I could not tighten the locks while the optic was secured in the mount. So I'd have to zero it, remove it from the mount, lock it, and then mount it back. That being said, um, I mounted this to my core M&P, so those weren't really issues for me. Um, sighting was simple for me. I, I did use the provided Torx wrench and was on target within, I would say, less than 10 shots, probably 8 to 10 shots. Uh, once set, the delta point never lost zero. Loophole uh, does state that the delta point has been tested to withstand 3,500 g's of impact, which is something I have no way of testing. Uh, and here's why. Um, 1 g of acceleration is equal to 32.174 feet per second squared. The formula for acceleration is simply change in velocity divided by the change in time. So 3,500 times 32.174 gives you 112,609 feet per second squared. Even a rifle or pistol with the fastest recoil made by the hands of man would have to fire in 13% of the current best time possible to break the delta point. So is it overbuilt? Probably. The delta point is made of a single block of magnesium. Magnesium is inherently stronger than aluminum. That means it can be less bulky. It has a very streamlined look. The hood is thin but adequately sized. Um, it extends horizontally beyond the base and the top of the hood is convex. This increases the, view, the viewable size of the window but will transfer energy to the glass in the event of a top impact. I have no idea if a strong top impact would crack the glass. The edges are rounded and generally snag free and the area just in front of the emitter is stepped. The hood is very stout and I actually use it to rack the slide of my MMP core. Optical clarity on the delta point is top notch. Some lower quality red dots I've used seem to have a weird greenish or purplish tint that's not so with the loophole. It is truly a 1x clear optic with a handy little red dot. The battery is put in from the bottom of the optic and the battery is held in place. Um, by the optic and the mounts. There's really no cover or lid. Um, basically when you mount the optic and screw it down you've covered the battery. Uh, the electronics are solid state and the optic is waterproof. Mounted on my MP core the Delta Point was deadly at helping me dispatch paper targets at a medium range um, usually less than 30 feet. The 3.5 MOA dot was always at the perfect level of illumination. It was always on when it was supposed to be on. Uh, as to battery life, that's tough to test because uh, you know I've taken the Delta Point out for a few days at the range and I haven't had to change the batteries. Um, if you're mounting this on your everyday carry, uh, then you might have to do some testing on your own because you know as you're moving throughout the day, it's going to be turned on. Uh, there's really no way around that. 
the only way it's not going to be on is if you take it out and put it in your safe or you know something like that uh, I'm not even sure I haven't tested this but even in a travel case in your vehicle that may be enough motion to make it stay on so that's something that you may want to test on your own Loophole does say that their site uh, has a battery life that's two, time longer, two times longer than other red dots. Um, again, I'm not sure how they've tested this, considering it uses the same CR2032 battery that most other red dots use. So overall, uh, the build quality uh, for something so tiny, it's really robust, um, and I do enjoy seeing this on my MMP core. As far as optical clarity, um, the loophole glass um, is something that I've never really seen before it being clear. Uh, as I mentioned before, most of, the, most of the red dots will have some sort of protective coating uh, that will give a tint to the uh, red dot site as you're looking through it. Um, so you don't get that with, with this. So optical clarity, uh, I would say, is very high. Adjustments and controls. Um, Again, you have to take into consideration what I said before, that you're using a Torx screw with uh, no detents, no clicks to be able to tell that you've made the adjustments. Um, so otherwise, um, all the adjustments were, were easy, and it does seem to hold a zero with no issues. Overall, uh, I really like the Loophole Delta Point. It's a great site. It does its job. Uh, as I said, I like to use it to rack my slide. Um, especially trying to do one arm manipulation, one handed manipulation of the pistol. Um, so it's definitely on the more expensive end of the spectrum, um, but if you're serious about buying a really great red dot and you don't want to opt for the more expensive Trijicon, um, then I would uh, suggest the, the Loophole Delta Point is a site you should uh, definitely check out. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. I'll be happy to answer what I can. Um, please rate and subscribe. And again, thank you very much.